don't speak on no country shit till you're born, bred, raised, and live in it. Come outside, smack your bitch, go back inside, finish cooking grits. That's the shit that country bitches do. Fuck that nigga, good to fix and food. Ask me how I know what it do, cause my bloodline screams, why you? Fire red, Louisiana bread, Creole bitch, fine bad bitch. Yeah, you like my accent. Hollin' out shit like, girl, you hit. Gumbo eggs to fake crawfish. Pussy good like voodoo. Country girls got that good, good, and them country boys slangin' that good wood. Cause he grippin' grain with his candy paint. Big rims and that bass that stain. Yeah, we country, you mad you ain't. We do shit that you just can't like. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel once again. To all my old subscribers, and welcome to my new subscribers. You already know who it is. It's your girl Pink, and this is the famous tag. That's the shit I don't like. Um... I am probably going to be cursing in it just for the simple fact that just talking about myself just is going to make you curse. So there probably will be vulgar language, even though I'll try to keep it at a minimum. Knowing the stuff that I don't like, it's probably going to be cuss words. So I'll give everyone that's 18 and below or people who's not into like cursing and all the other stuff, you know, I understand. I'm going to give you a chance to exit now because it's about to get live. Okay, so yeah, I guess everybody who really didn't want to see the video has left. I'm sure there's going to be some people that watch the video still not going to like it. That's okay too. I'm not tripping. But yes, this is my video. I wasn't going to do the tag, but I don't know. I'm be getting um, tonsil removal surgery on Monday. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make a couple videos and get them out the way. That way, while I'm chilling and recovering, I'll just have some things to upload on YouTube instead of, you know, just sitting and waiting in the desk. Um, the song you heard, if you all do not know my YouTube twin, her name is Teddy Creole Goddess. That is her song. It is called Country Shit. Her link will be down below. I've been vibing to that all day. I don't know what it is about that song, but I just love it. Love her. Definitely check her out. She is the bomb. Dot com. Ooh, ooh. That's her favorite word. Shout out to my boo. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, I actually recorded this already. And I was going to make a part two because I had other stuff that I wanted to say. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to comb combine part one and part two and leave it there instead of just having a whole bunch of, you know, videos. I'm going to try not to make it too long. So, yes. About to get into this. Um, I really didn't think about what I was going to say. I'm just going to say whatever comes to mind. So, yeah. Let it go. Alrighty then. So, let's see the first thing that i can say that i don't like or that's coming to my mind i would have to say is female hygiene okay um i don't understand why that would even be a problem for anyone i don't know why a female would want to smell good i don't know why they wouldn't do everything possible to smell good i know that everything is not for everybody as far as like you know um, some people might dish, some people may use certain soaps, medicated soaps, you know, whatever people, you know, whatever routines people go through to keep themselves clean, I know it doesn't work for everybody, you know, some people, everybody's body is different, I'll say that, so, you need to find out what works for you, it's not cute to be smelling and stinky, and the worst place that I be smelling stinky putang pie at is the goddamn club. I don't know like if people not taking a shower before they go to the club like they've been out all day or this they have like an odor. I don't know what it is but whatever it is you need to fix it okay. If you know you're going to the club that day take a shower. If you don't want to take a full fledged shower take what I call uh, um yeah a tea dot. That's what I call it a tea dot. And a tea dot is of course washing your underarms and under your chest Going down the stomach, make sure you get in the navel between the legs, and of course, get it in between, you know, your butt crack, you know, whatever you want to call your stuff. You know, get in between this when you go to the club, you smell good. I don't want you stinking in the club, especially by me, because you have me smelling myself, and I'm like, um, what the fuck is going on? Like, is that I know it's not me, but I have to check. It's like, yeah, get yourself together. That shit is nasty, it's not cute, Facebook, and it's Facebook. so ugly. Oh my god, it's so much shit people on Facebook that I don't like. But this is like the number one thing that I don't like. And I see, I can't really say males, but I see a lot of females doing this. They're right up post. I'm single and happy. I don't need a man, blah, blah, blah. I'm single, team, single. I'm single, I'm single, I'm single. This is, you know, the first day. The next day. Oh, I think I found him so right. He's my one and only. I'm his heart. Two hours later. Oh my God, niggas ain't shit. I don't fuck with him, blah, 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 this and that. 
couple minutes later, they engage, they marry, they back a little, they take a picture, they kiss the picture, and then the next day, I'm single again, I need somebody to snuggle up with, like, I see this all the time, you look fucking stupid, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get your life. Another thing that I don't like is when you meet a dude, I, I really hate this, I really, really hate this, you meet a dude or whatever, y'all talking, texting, however y'all conversating, and they be like, let's chill. My you, it's like maybe tw 12, 1 in the morning, like what are we chilling and doing? First of all, okay, I can chill by myself. Why would I want to leave my house to come chill at your house? Or you leave your house to come sit in my house. Like, that's stupid. I'm not saying that we have to go out all the time. But what are we doing chilling at 12 1 in the morning? Yeah, I know your definition of chill. And I am not DTF, okay? The fact that dudes wear small jeans and then they sag them off their butt. I think that's, like, so stupid. First of all, it already looks stupid when you sag your jeans off your butt, period. You know, just regular jeans, just sagging all the way down. But it looks extra dumb when you have on skinny jeans that looks damn near like leggings. And they're, like, tight around your ass and, like, halfway hanging. It just looks dumb. Like, why are you wearing tight pants halfway down? It shouldn't wear tight pants, period. But why are you trying to sag them? That looks stupid. That's the shit I don't like. And if you're watching this video and you wear skinny jeans... Sagging off your ass. Stop. Another thing I don't like, and I see it on here on YouTube, you know, and I think it's like kind of catty or whatever. I don't like, like, when people are in, like, cliques. And don't get me wrong, I have my certain people that I watch and my certain people that I conversate with and, you know, on a regular basis. And some people that I'm even close enough to that we be talking on the phone, texting, you know, stuff like that. But I'm not in a clique. For example, if they're having a problem with someone here on YouTube, just because they're having a problem with them on YouTube doesn't mean that I am. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be affiliated in drama. So if I like you and I like her and you two are having a problem, that doesn't revolve around me. So why would I get in it? But I see a lot of people on YouTube that's friends with different people and if they friends get into something they feel the need to, I guess, be in it too. And they're making videos, I guess, to take it for their friend. I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, do that shit. But I don't like that shit. I don't like it oh in God. real life or here. In direct statuses or pulses or Twitters, twats, what is it? A tweet, yeah. <laughs> Say twat. Indirect messages, period. Why are you posting and posting indirect messages like if you have something to say to somebody say it to them why are you saying something indirectly that the person know you're talking about them or other people know you're talking about them you know you're talking about them but you're not you know putting it all together in one like that is the pettiest thing that i have that i've ever heard of sorry and i see that like all the time people end up writing right statuses oh she this she that she fake she ain't about nothing who the hell is she say who she is because if you write it on Facebook, you must want people to know about it. So, give us the whole, you know, do the whole story. You might as well get it all in there so everybody can fucking know what you're talking about. Don't halfway do stuff. And then, because this has happened with some people that I know. And then when you're confronted about it, by that person that you know you're talking about, you talking about you ain't talking about them. Yes, you were. Like, if you're going to write it, be real about it and own up to it. That's why people getting uppercut on buses and beat the hell up and smack the hell out because you you talking all this. And then when it's time to get down to it, shit getting real, you looking like, what am I saying nothing? Or you get knocked the hell out of a box beside your damn head. Like, say what you mean and be what you say and say it to that person. I hate that indirect shit. The next thing I don't like, and before I say this, I don't want anyone getting offended. Um, if you get offended, it's probably I'm probably talking to you. But I don't want people to take this the wrong way. Like I'm trying to say, say something about how big girls dress or they shouldn't wear this, shouldn't wear that. Because in all honesty, you can wear whatever the fuck you want to wear, no matter what size you are. But I think that certain clothes are made for certain sizes. And if you know you shouldn't wear them, you don't wear them. I do not like when females wear leggings and they wear them with little shirts so that you can see like their shape and they have um what's it cottage cheese dimples what's the, um oh god cellulite yeah i don't like when you can see the cellulite through the leggings 
that does not look sexy. I know you want to show off your butt because if you have say now it's not until you have say like your pro your ass is probably fat. I know you want to show your shape and your butt, but that is not cute seeing dents and dimples and all that shit through your leggings. If you want to wear leggings, cool. You know, wear it with a nice shirt. Don't wear it with a little tight shirt, and then you have dimples and cottage cheese and dents and shit everywhere. Like that's not sexy. It's not cute, and you look stupid. Crusty feet. And when I say crusty, I mean, you can have pretty feet. And when I say crusty, I mean, you can have pretty feet with no lotion on it. Like, that is so unattractive. Why are you walking around with ashy ass toe knuckles? Is that what they, is that what they call your toes? Like, that little bending part? Toe knuckles or in between your toes. You're walking around with ashiness and crustiness. And all you have to do is put some lotion on it. It takes, like, not even a minute to take some lotion. Yes, and just I don't like roll it on your feet. Oh, my God. Yes, I have to say this because this just happened to me today. I do not fucking like when people come and use your stuff and what's the word I'm looking for? I want to say they don't use it properly or they don't take care of it or they just careless. I don't like when people use your shit carelessly. My cousins are famous for this. So if you're watching this, you probably know who I'm talking to. They know who I'm talking to because I don't bite my tongue. I probably said something to them. But I do not like when people come use my stuff. And just don't take care of it. For example, this is this is what made me think about it. Okay. Now, I bought I buy like a lot of stuff for like makeup, hair stuff, and all the other stuff. And I don't mind sharing it with people they want to use it. Fine. But if you're gonna use it, use it properly. Don't be all sloppy and careless and messing up with my shit like you bought it. I mean, let's be real. If you want to mess up some shit by your own and mess it up. Okay. Now, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the fucking middle is all the way, y'all hear that? All the way to the bottom. Why the fuck is there a hole in here? I don't use my shit like that. First of and look at the sides. The sides are still all the way up. So you know somebody's just taking their finger and digging it in. First of all, if you're digging this much, you probably look like a fucking fool with all this in your hair. And I know what cousin did this. You probably like a fucking fool with all this stuff in your hair. You don't need a lot of this. This is like for your edges. You need this a little bit and you smooth it out. And you just smooth it over the top. Why the fuck is it dented in the middle? Um, I just got this, I want to say, maybe two and a half weeks ago. Haven't even been really using like that, but except for my edges. Why is it dented in? I do not like when people mess over my shit and just leave it all sloppy mess. Like, use the shit right. Like, <sighs> or don't use it at all. Just yeah. That's the shit I don't like. Pants, I'm a cut your roof, Let me tell you, you about this soldier rag, dirty, dirty, third coast, swamp water, baby, pop her pussy, cause she wanna. Let me tell you about this old school, poor lean, dirty rice and red beans, pocket full of stone where goals gleam. Let me tell you about this country shit, a country bitch, on some country shit, country shit, a country bitch, on some country shit, country bitch.